Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to use your Sony DSLR camera as a webcam for your PC and OBS. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So that's right, you can use your Sony DSLR camera as a webcam on your PC using OBS and this is very easy actually and I do have some equipment over off to my right here that I will be using for this so I have this HDMI to micro HDMI cable that I will be using I have this infinite power supply for my camera and it's gonna plug in with this battery pack that has a power supply connector to it so I'll be able to power my camera for 24 hours a day if I really needed to without having my battery drain on me. So that's definitely needed. Then I will be using a capture device and this is the Camlink from Elgato. This runs for 124 bucks off of Amazon and this will capture my camera and project it onto my computer. So this is definitely helpful and this is nice because it's much smaller than a traditional capture card and it just plugs into the back of your computer with this little extender. So here is my camera right now, my Sony a6400, and I will be using a tripod ball head here, and this is great because it has tons of different adjustments on here. I can move my camera at any angle I need to, and I can level my camera out very easily, and I have it connected to a boom arm here that's connected to my desk down there. And this goes up and down and I can rotate it around very easily. So if I'm at my desk, I can swing my camera towards me very easily. I can move my camera around and get the perfect angle I need. So I do have to mention with this cam link, it doesn't support every DSLR camera. So you will want to go ahead and look to see if your camera is supported before going ahead and buying this. And this will plug into a USB 3.0 slot or 3.1 slot on the back of your computer or front. So let's go ahead and just connect everything right now and get my camera set up in OBS. Okay, now that we have OBS open, the first thing I wanna do is set my video quality and my streaming output. So I'm gonna go up to file and then go to settings. And then I'm gonna to go to output and I'm gonna up my bit rate. I'm gonna up it to 7,500 and then my Recording, I'm going to put my recording quality to high medium file size. So high quality. And then for video, I'm going to up it to 1920 by 1080, which my camera is displayed at. And the same thing for my output. Now I may up this to my 4K base canvas size at some point in time. And then I up the value to 60 frames per second. And then I applied it. Let's go to OK. Now adding it as a source is very easy under the sources section. Let's go to the plus icon. Then we're going to go to video capture device. Select this, go to create new. And let's put DSLR camera on here and go to okay. And we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select Camlink 4K. For me, it just pops up right away. So Camlink 4K is the first one. And we do have a little bit of configuration here that we can go ahead and do, like a video configure. For me, this little thing popped up here. And we can go ahead and adjust the brightness, contrast just a little bit to make it a little bit better and uh, to match the colors and the shadows in the room. Go to apply. Uh, one thing I like to do is just do the filters on OBS over um, configuring the video in here. There is another thing I did. I went ahead and I disabled the HUD. As you can see, there is no numbers or anything on the screen where my hand is. And you can disable the HUD by going into the camera settings. I do have a video on that. Um, I will link the video down below in the description as well as all the products that I'm using in this video to make this happen. And the other thing that I did is turned off autofocus. So sometimes when I have autofocus on, it focuses in and out a lot just because the different lighting I have in my room. So I turned that off as well. So this is very easy to get everything set up. So I have my DSLR camera in there. Then I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and add my microphone. So go back to the plus icon and go to audio input capture. 
let's go to existing or create new i have one already in here so i'm going to go to okay for create new it's going to be like the same thing for the camera i'll go to devices and go to your microphone so the blue yeti microphone so there we have it i have my camera i have my microphone in there then if we want to go ahead and add display go back to the plus icon go to display capture go to create new now let's go ahead and put our display in here. So let's go to display capture three, and this is my display I'm using. Now you will want to move your camera above your display. So let's grab the camera under sources and move it above the display capture. And if we want to shrink our camera, we can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and select DSLR camera and make it smaller. And we can put this anywhere on our screen now. Typically, I like it on the right-hand side. Now, if you're trying to like um, capture this for a video game or something, there's different options in here as well for your sources. Go to the plus icon. You will probably want to do game capture just for games on the PC. Uh, window capture will capture specific windows. Then if you are going to be using like a capture card like we are doing now for my camera, video capture devices. So if I go back to that and I go to create new, I will have the option to add my Live Gamer Ultra video capture device on here. And this will allow me to capture an HDMI source like from my PlayStation or my Xbox One. And then I can add that as a background. So if you are just going to be playing game, go to the sources and just go to the game capture. That should work as well. And then put your camera above that. So let's go to right click, go to transform down here. And let's, let's put this to full screen fit to screen so there is my camera again so one thing i did want to show you before we end the video is adding a filter to it let's go to my dslr camera on here right click on it go to filters let's go to effect filters under here we will have the option for color correction and we will be able to adjust the uh, contrast from here as well so let's go ahead and add a little bit more saturation that looks a little bit more natural up the brightness all right, so that looks very good. Another thing you can do is add a green screen. So for a green screen, you will want to add a chroma key. So that's when you have a green background here that's all one solid color. You add a chroma key to that, and you can get rid of the background and just cut out everything and just leave yourself. So let's get rid of that for now because I don't have a green screen up. And close this. So my camera looks a little bit more natural now. So that's how you use a Sony DSLR camera as a webcam and add it to OBS. It's very easy. If this video went ahead and helped you out, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.